You're listening to the Junior Birdman Podcast. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Junior Birdman Podcast. I am the Junior Birdman. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell for updates and make sure you comment down below. Today, we are joined by a friend of ours, Jim, who is a architecture specialist and extraordinaire, has uh, traveled the world from what I understand, and he's going to give us the top five buildings from around the world. Jim, uh, welcome to the Junior Birdman podcast. Hello, Birdman, and thank you again for having me on your show. It's always wonderful to have you. This is right up your alley, right? Yes, of course. As you know, I've traveled many years and have a lot of expertise in architecture from around the world. I've lived always marveled at the most impressive and stunning buildings that man has created. And so, without further ado, let's begin our journey through the top five buildings of the world. All right, let's do so. Let's start with number five on our list. And go ahead and begin, Jimmy. Number five on our list is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. This incredible building stands at 828 meters, making it the tallest building in the world. The Burj Khalifa is a modern marvel of engineering, sleek, elegant design, sure to impress even the most skeptical of architectural critics. From the observation deck on the 124th floor, visitors can enjoy a breathtaking view of the Dubai skyline. On a clear day, they can see all the way to the Arabian Gulf. Number five on our list, uh, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. All right. Well, we're off to a great start. Uh, five was great. I can't wait to hear number four. Number four. Uh, number four on our list is the Sydney Opera House in Sydney, Ooh. Australia. Yes. Oh. This iconic building, instantly recognizable thanks to its distinctive sail-like design, it's become one of the most popular tourist attractions in the world. The Opera House is the home to a variety of performing art venues, including concert halls. It's an opera theater, a drama theater, and hosts more than 1,500 performances a year. The Sydney Opera House comes in at number four. Ah, beautiful. I like number four as well. So far, we're off to a great start. Let's get on to number three on our list. The number three building on our list is the Taj Mahal in India. This stunning building was built by the Emperor Shah Jahan in the memory of his beloved wife and has become a symbol of love and devotion around the world. The Taj Mahal is constructed entirely of white marble and is adorned with intricate carvings and precious gems making it one of the most beautiful and impressive buildings in the world and making it number three on our list. All right, that's number three. A little more than halfway through now. I can't wait to see number two. Uh, Number two building on the list is the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. This ancient wonder of the world has stood for more than 4,500 years and continues to amaze visitors with its sheer size and complexity. The Great Pyramid was built as a tomb for the Pharaoh Kufa and was the tallest building in the world for more than 3,800 years. The pyramid is made up of more than two million blocks of limestone and is a testament to the ingenuity and engineering prowess of the ancient Egyptians. And it makes number two on our list. And it's certainly impressive. And now, the number one. Um, And finally, our number one building on the list is the beautiful and wondrous Eiffel Tower in Uh, Paris, France. This iconic uh, tower was built in 1889 and has become the symbol of the city of love. 
The Eiffel Tower stands at a height of 324 meters and was the tallest building in the world when it was completed. The tower is made of wrought iron and has become one of the most recognizable and beloved structures in the world. And it is the number one building on our list of the greatest buildings in the world. And it certainly does deserve the top ranking there. That was fantastic. Thank you, Jim. It was my pleasure, Birdman. I hope the list was enjoyable for you and everyone listening, and I wish you a wonderful day. There he goes, folks. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. It was wonderful. Fantastic. Thank you for listening to the Junior Birdman Podcast. Be sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell to be alerted when new videos are posted.